Well, as I said before in my previous videos, I accidentally uh, hit the uh, stop recording. Um, I'm still an amateur on these recordings, uh, so I apologize. So we got to make this a two-part thing. But um, continuing where we left off in part one, um, you can click on this approve or reject. And when you do that, it will take you to basically what you see right here. If you go to the pipeline, it'll take you to this given site here. Bear with me one second, this review. Um, so it'll, it'll basically take you right here and you can go ahead and say, I approve. Go ahead and deploy and deploy to production. or you can reject it, in which case the pipeline just stops right there. So I'll say approve. Now that you've approved, so imagine the scenario where um, it may take uh, you know a day or so to actually go through this step. Now you've approved, so now it's actually gonna go ahead and fire off the, uh, the deployment to your production server. And let's just go ahead and let that finish. And then we'll bring up the production server just to, and show you that the application got deployed to that instance as well. I will pause the recording until that's finished because it may take a little bit of time. Okay, it finished. So let's go to our details. And as you can see, here's the details of our given deployment, um, including the events that you can see here. So you can see that it went ahead and deployed it over to our production server. It successfully finished all these steps. So how can we tell that? We can go to our EC2 management console and take our IP address and paste it in here. As you can see, here's our test server IP address. So it's 552.91.3.123. And I'm gonna basically replace that with our production server and run it and there we go so we've actually got this application deployed now to both of our instances and again recapping um our ec2 instances these two here have the code deploy agent running on it and you know to demonstrate um jenkins and stuff we have that installed on the other ec2 instance um i'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can add to this um, other than it, it's a, it would be a pretty typical scenario in a DevOps environment. So uh, code deploy and code pipeline work quite beautifully together. There's also a uh, code commit um, and some of the other, I've been taking some other courses and refreshers, but code commit allows you to uh, have your own private repos. And um, you know, so it's based on GitHub here. So I've been uh, kind, of, kind of taking some training and, uh, you know, I created a Wonder Widgets directory here. Um, by the way, Tom, Thomas Hazlitt is a great instructor. I highly recommend if you're wanting to learn more about the intricacies of AWS and stuff like that, he has some wonderful courses. Um, but anyways, you can see this is basically a private GitHub repo. I think I've rambled on enough, so I highly recommend if you want to learn a little bit more about AWS Code Deploy and Code Pipeline that you go and take that tutorial, and uh, you know I'll put it in the notes and all that. And I hope you have a great one. Sorry about the two videos, and uh, you take care. Thanks again. Bye bye.